Women of Reddit. What's something that guys do on a first date that tick all the boxes? Pay attention. No phones. No distractions. My current partner noticed the waiter bought me the wrong drink order. Not bad enough for me to worry about. He calmly and kindly corrected and arranged for a replacement. No fuss. No rudeness. Just made sure I got what I wanted. Very SI. Being genuine. I love it when a guy on a date actually seems to be feeling me out as a friend instead of just a potential hookup. I. E. Not afraid to engage in a friendly debate. I don't agree with you. Actually listening to what I have to say. My current boyfriend and I had a 12 hour first date because neither of us could stop talking. We just clicked and allowed each other to respond and actually listened. Also. A deadly sense of humor gets me every time. He told me a risky one liner about 30 minutes into knowing me and it paid off big time. Still haven't forgotten the grin that came along with it once I started to laugh. Listen. Like really listen. Ask questions and listen to the answers. 1. Is polite to any staff. 2. Looks like they put an effort in. 3. Shows up on time. 4. Good conversation. 5. Doesn't bad mouth exes. 6. Doesn't drink too much. 7. Doesn't spend it on their phone. First ones that come to mind. A guy that smiles. Makes me laugh. Seems interested in how I'm doing. Flirts but isn't overly love bombing or fake charming. Is nice to the waitstaff. I actually like if a little nervousness shows. As long as they are able to reciprocate in the conversation. If you are on a date then do what you are supposed to. Be interested. Show who you are and be in the moment. Don't be preoccupied with your phone. Don't get hammered. And don't assume sx. If you are on a date you are giving the impression you are interested. It isn't a hookup. Thanks for the thread. Making eye contact during conversation. Not looking at his phone. My wife said being attentive. Thought that said attractive was like fair and to the point ask questions and be genuinely interested in my answers don't just ask a question then wait for your own turn to answer genuinely be curious about my work and my life and ask follow-up questions that show you're really trying to understand this shows that you respect me for my experiences and knowledge not just for what i could be for you and be honest about what you love don't try to be cool. Your passion about something silly or nerdy is cool. Seeing someone gush about something they're interested in is really attractive. I don't need sleep. I need upvotes so more people respond. Open bracket. Edit. There's a lot of hate saying I'm karma whoring. The above statement was written when I had two comments. I just wanted advice for a date I got planned next week. Didn't think this post would blow up. Show up on time. Be well groomed but please got no cologne bath. Be polite. Ask questions. So many guys just blather on about themselves. Listen. Don't get distracted. Offering to pay is gracious. It's also antiquated and going Dutch is fine too. No surprises. Don't ask to go somewhere unplanned or it freaks us out and makes us think we may get murdered and put in a dumpster. Say what you're thinking. If you had a nice time or want to kiss us, say it. Be genuinely interested in what I have to say. The key is genuine. Like if I mention a topic I like. I don't want you to spend 10 minutes telling me how much you know about that thing. I want to have a proper conversation. I was on a date once where the guy surprised me by going to the zoo. When we were at the zoo he would get in front of me to open up the door but then would open it for himself and intentionally close it behind him leaving me standing there. I was so shocked and laughed so hard cause that's definitely the opposite. Still make me laugh. That was one of the best dates. Suggests a place, arrives on time or early, puts effort into his appearance and hygiene, is attentive while I'm talking, doesn't bring up exes, smiles, makes me laugh. 
maintains eye contact, is nice to the wait staff, doesn't check his phone, waits with me until my Uber arrives. He does not get SZ'd on the first date. No perverted comments. No trying to sleep with me. Also he needs to be kind not only to me but to the waiter as well. Decent conversation of course. With both people asking questions about each other with genuine interest. But also being okay with silences. And not feeling awkward when the conversation falls into a natural lull for a few moments. Just picking up another topic when one comes to mind. And giving everyone a moment to catch their breath. Also. Walking me to my car after gets bonus points. Personally. And a let me know when you get home safe or something like that melts my heart. It's great when he doesn't make me feel stupid when I don't know something and he does. Actually planning out a date. Not just repeating I dunno. Whatever you wanna do is cool. Having a generally positive outlook disposition. Being kind to everyone we encounter. Being funny but still polite. Asking interesting and thought provoking questions. Doing gentlemanly things like opening the car door. If there is a clear connection attraction. Being confident about going in for a kiss at the end of the night. But without necessarily the expectation that it will lead to SX right away. Saying text me to let me know that you got home safe. 1. He has good to great hygiene. 2. He is respectful. 3. He can read a room. Everything else positive is just a subset of that trifecta. Number 1 for me. Knows how to roll with the punches. If one little thing throws their mood off. I'm turned off. Getting upset is fine. But being able to keep the night going even when stuff doesn't work out perfectly is the best tray for a partner to have. Is clean and looks like he grooms and showers regularly. And not just for the date. Way too many guys think keeping themselves clean is a waste of time and is the biggest not serious turn off for me. I don't need a guy who looks like a Greek god. I need a guy who has good hygiene. Doesn't get SZ'd on the first date or give vibes that he just wants to get in my pants. Attentive and doesn't dominate 90% the conversation cut me off constantly. I don't mean let me do all the talking either. Similar interests. Gaming. Favorite pets. Hobbies. Etc. Guys of Reddit. Don't worry about this. On the first date we ever had my husband. Showed up late. Interrupted me at dinner to reluctantly say he would pay for dinner. I was willing to split but let me finish a sentence first. Drove around in circles for hours because he didn't want to do anything I suggested or have any ideas of his own. Told me to shut up while I was talking. I had to ask for a hug at the end of the night because he was just going to leave the second we got to my door. Left his coat at my house. In the winter. In the Midwest. Ignored the fact that we even had a date for two months. Just went right back to acting like my friend like I hallucinated it. And I married this man. He got so nervous that he made all the mistakes but he told me, after two months, that he was sorry and asked for a do-over. Twelve years and one kid later. It's a fun story. I once went on a date with a guy that bragged about sleeping with prostitutes and them not charging him. My partner texted me right we I got home after our first date something about after talking for 6 hours what could we talk about next. Not only did he check to make sure I got home okay but he let me know he really enjoyed himself and hoped he'd see me again. That was it. I was absolutely hooked. Let's see. On our first date. My now husband couldn't take his eyes off me. Even though we were surrounded by his friends and a hockey game for his team. He leaned in to hear my every word. He laughed at my jokes. And thought my weirdness and shyness were all cute and charming. I felt special and seen. Someone who's still polite and friendly to me when they realize I'm not attractive. Someone who doesn't mind if we chat about my favorite show. The Expanse. Someone who's willing to chat about the things they're interested in. Someone who isn't condescending. 1. He doesn't try to make me decide on where to go. 2. He actually listens to what I say and remembers things. 
Especially if we've been talking a bit before the first date. 3. He's nice to the waiter. Bartender. Or whatever wonderful service person is helping us. 4. He doesn't try anything physical with me. Light hand touches or similar are fine. But I'd rather be the one to initiate that. Oh has a cute smile. Oh listens even if they don't quite get the conversation. Oh is okay with just enjoying company. Oh are polite. Oh isn't afraid to express his happiness. Oh a good boy. Oh walks on for legs. Oh lets you pet him. Oh likes belly rubs. Oh a dog. Be attentive. If you're distracted it's not going to make them feel very good. Be nice to the waiter. A big one for me is not getting drunk. For a woman only interested in serious relationships. I am looking for compatibility personally wise. Be polite to everyone you encounter and be personable. I've never been one to play specific gender roles and expect the guy to pay. But it is nice to see someone who is a gentleman and will still hold the door and offer to pay. Besides just being a decent human being. A lot of it is going to be subjective. I want someone who has similar values as mine and you can usually get a pretty good overall feel for that fairly quick. There is also a bit of an attraction value to all of this. Seduces my mind. Not my body. Make it clear what you want. If you're looking for a relationship and to settle down say it. If you're looking for a hookup say it. If you're looking for a subdomestial relationship say it. If you're planning a murder I wouldn't recommend saying it. Just be nice. We're fragile. Mostly. Try not to focus on a single heroic deed, or even several, that's gonna seal some kind of deal. You're not there to seal a deal. You're there to grow a garden. Step by step. Plant seeds for the next meeting. Embrace excitement for the future as well as the present. You'll stay more loose if you go into a date with the knowledge that anything could happen. And that's okay. Staying loose is the key. Or maybe agile is a better term. Don't think about yourself too much, act with them in mind. Marizo. And the environment you find yourselves in. Don't dwell on things if you say something imperfect. Let it go and refocus on them and the fact that you are glad to be with them. Be able to laugh at yourself. But also don't be self-deprecating. Don't expect too much from them. Nor from yourself. Step by step. Good times don't happen in your head. They happen out in the world. I'm a dude FTR. And I know this is vague. But it's true. Being nice to the server. When they seem interested in me and my life. Phone on silent and away. Don't try anything asshole. A kiss at the end if we're into each other, and a cute text after. Not a girl but when I went on my first date with this girl. She wanted to pet a dog but didn't want to bother the owners so I went and asked if we could pet their dog. We're getting married later this year. So I guess that ticks at least one box. Not coming on too strong. Just try to be yourself without moving too quickly. I can't stand it when a guy feels super comfortable with me on the first date. It's just creepy. Just steal her a blow French horn and tell her that you love her. Works every time. Confirm before you meet. Check in the day before and a few hours before so I know you're showing up. Show up on time. And if you're late. Tell me how late when planning the date pick somewhere closer to the woman's house or in the middle. It can be hard or unsafe for women to get home. Especially at night. Nothing irritates me more than someone who makes me travel halfway across town to meet them outside of their house for their own convenience stop thinking kissing or anything else will seals the deal. Unless I initiate or am giving really obvious signals keep it PG ask questions and actually listen to the answers. Don't treat service people like garbage. I don't want to hear about your crazy ex. If you really like someone. Ask them to text you when they get home so that you know they're safe. You can even text this. Men.